We begin tonight with developing news out of California as golf legend Tiger Woods is currently in the hospital. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagelin. Zer Woods is being treated for serious injuries from a major car crash this morning. Western Mass News reporter Kayla Burton joins us live now in studio with more. Kayla. Chris and Jordan Woods is currently at the Harbor UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, where he underwent surgery today. Now, according to ESPN, Woods suffered crushed injuries to both legs, including a compound fracture, as well as a shattered ankle. We arrived on scene at 7.18 a.m. and discovered the solo vehicle collision and the sole occupant was, again, a Tiger Woods. A devastating car crash Tuesday morning involving legendary golfer Tiger Woods. Los Angeles County officials telling Western Mass News the crash was serious. Earlier, it was stated that the jaws of life was utilized to extricate the person trapped. It was later determined by our personnel that a hologram tube, which is used for prying, and an ax was also used to pry the person free from the vehicle. Unfortunately, Mr. Woods was not able to stand under his own power. Um, our partners at LA County Fire were able to um, extricate him from the vehicle and they put him onto a backboard. Deputy Carlos Gonzalez, who first arrived on the scene, tells us Woods was awake and aware of the situation. When I arrived on the scene, uh, Mr. Woods was uh, seated in the driver's seat. Um, I made contact with him and I ensured that he was able to speak to me. Um, at that time, he seemed that as, as though he was still calm and lucid. Um, I made the determination that it would be safer to wait for LA County Fire to help remove him instead of trying to remove him myself. Um, I, I kept Mr. Woods calm. While there's still an ongoing investigation of the cause of this crash, officials say they didn't find any evidence of substances in Woods's car, and he did not seem impaired. Unfortunately, Woods has been in this scary situation before. Back in November of 2009, when he lost control of his SUV outside of his Florida mansion, he crashed into a fire hydrant and a tree in his neighbor's yard around 2 a.m., his wife smashing the window with a golf club. After confronting Woods about his infidelity, it was the start of a career downfall for Woods. As for Tuesday, Gonzalez says he's responded to many accidents in this L.A. County area before. And if it weren't for Woods taking simple safety measures ahead of time, it could have been way worse. The nature of his vehicle, the fact that he was wearing a seatbelt, um, I, I would say that it greatly increased the likelihood that it saved his life. Now, Woods currently is not married, but he has two children, Sam and Charlie. Many people taking to social media to send their prayers to all three of them. Now, the sheriff's department says it could be up to several weeks to get all the information together before they release a detailed report. Of course, we'll continue to provide you the latest updates both on air and online. So stick with Western Mass News. But for now, live in studio, Kayla Burton, Western Mass News.